afternoon. Uh, Joe Dimler here with Agco. Gonna take you through a uh, Feature Friday uh, video today. Um, we're gonna look at remote support through Slingshot. So I'm gonna go through a little tutorial uh, to show what it looks like from the operator's uh, perspective and what it looks like uh, from the person uh, that's logging in through Slingshot to help uh, with remote support for that operator. So let's take a look, thanks. All right, hey, good morning. Joe Demler here with Agco. Gonna take you through the steps to have an operator uh, have have a dealership uh, uh, log in uh, with remote support via Slingshot. So the steps, pretty simple. You're gonna have to have the operator get out of the job. So take back to the homepage, which is where we're at. We're gonna go to administrator. We're gonna go to system manager. And you're gonna go up to your uh, fourth tab here to this uh, sling sh slingshot logo that's got the uh, frog jumping over the module and we've got our service code right there 48590 so if you're on the phone with the operator and he gives you a call he's running this interrogator and he is saying uh, I, I, he'd like to have a little more top end um, with his rate control on his liquid interrogator he's applying nitrogen and some fall dual so you are on your uh, laptop at the dealership. Um, you're gonna log in, uh, ravenslingshot.com. You're gonna go to log in to Slingshot. Um, you're going to log in as yourself. I'm gonna log in here. Now I'm in the uh, uh, Slingshot portal, allows you to do a lot of cool stuff. What the biggest thing is uh, as far as Slingshot brings to a dealership and can add a lot of value to the customer is if you come here to manage, you come down and go to remote support. Now we talked about that number that was on the Viper 4, 48590, 48590, so I've got that typed in. Hit go, and it's gonna bring me to the Viper 4 that the operator called on. So, hit my green check. I can scroll down, you can see liquid interrogator. I'm gonna go down to my UT, and I'm going to make a change for that operator. Now, if I'm talking to him, I can visit with him about where uh, where I'm going here a little bit so that he doesn't call the next time maybe he'll learn where to go. Um, I look and see that the uh, PWM high is at 80, the low is at 20, and 21 is my standby. So maybe I'll leave my standby alone, but maybe I can take it down to uh, 10 maybe. On the bottom end it'll allow a little more accurate uh, control, allow you to not over apply as much at low speeds. And our gallons, the operator was running, was 150 and he's saying he wants to go faster. So we can up that limit a little bit and see what that does to have him go back and start to apply. So before, uh, before uh, we hang up, we tell the operator where to go. Um, we can come up here to the system manager. Again, we're gonna go to that same spot. And down here, we're gonna terminate support. At that point, the operator back on the V4 is going to go to his job. And there's our rate again at 150 where we were, applying fertilizer and fall dual, like a fall application, I guess. That's what I've got set up here. Um, and you can come in here, and we'll go and see that the changes I made to the RCM are right there. So at this point, it's time for the operator to go back to the home screen and go ahead and start to apply. Thanks.